special guests, Glenn Campbell and Mel Dillon, Bill Monroe, Steve Warner, Zeke Shepard, and starring Buck Owen and Roy Clark. <laughs> Archie Campbell, Grandpa Jones, Minnie Pearl, Gordy Tapp, Vanilla Hutton, Junior Sample, Lisa Todd, Don Heron, Lula Roman Smith, Gaylord Sartain, Misty Rowe, Kenny Price, Marianne Gordon Rogers, Roy Acuff, Ronnie Stoneman, Jim and John Hager, Linda Thompson Jenner, Jackie Phelps, Diana Goodman, Victoria Holman, the Nashville Edition, George Lindsay, the Buckaroo, Rodney Lay, the Wild West and Fancy, Charlie McCoy and the Hee Haw Band, Kathy Baker and Buford, and special appearance by Jonathan Winters. I'm Roy. And I'm Buck. Here comes Hee Haw. Better duck. Some jokes are on and some are putty. But stick around, some are funny. <laughs> Here's Hee Haw's Harmonica Ensemble oh. with our guest star, Zeke Shepard. <laughs> date, babe? I don't know. I can't tell. There's too much grease on the calendar. Oh, I, I've got bad news for you. Huh. It must be the end of the month, because here comes that health inspector. <laughs> oh, no, just, just leave it where it is. <laughs> just do as I tell you. <laughs> System. How do I do it to you? How are you? Young man. Ah. I'm Merlin P. Toe. Ah. I'm a Department of Health. Horrible. Jesus. <laughs> Thought it was being knighted. That's, that boy, that's Lulu right there. Hand on him like a... How did... Oh, gee. Oh. See. Yeah, I put some Pam under that. Well, we come through a crick bed. It was pretty bad. I just um, go over a few things here as the Department of Health. I did say I was Mer uh, Merlin Well, Pico. wait a minute. You, you're not the fellow that usually comes around here. No. But what, what happened to him? Well, that's interesting you should say that. He's now with the uh, Department of Public Safety. 
He had formerly been with the, uh, well, uh, with, with us, yeah. his Department of Health, but now he's gone. He, what happened to him, he was checking out a nuclear reactor uh, last week, and he fell in a vat of toxic waste. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can say just have a moment of silence. That's not. Uh, he's about four inches tall now, and uh, he glows in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Family uses him in a, as a nightlight. <laughs> That's not a terrible thing. Well, let, let's check out this dump and see what we have here. Good gracious, man. Look at all this. What is this different colored stuff on, the, on, the, on this knife? What's going on here? Uh... Huh? Looks like something tried to... Why, why, tried to whittle a gypsy. What is this? Uh, well, let, let's take a look at that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me look over here. What's the story on there? Where's the stamp here on the meat? All that meat looks like a catcher's mitt. Stamp right under there. Is that it? Yes, yeah, sir. Right I'm glad you pointed that out to me. That's not an official government stamp, you clown. That's one of those things they stamp your hand with at a disco. Well, I... Take a closer look. Just do as I tell you. It's a picture of a little bunny on roller skates. Just look at this joint. It's just covered with grease. I've never seen a place like this. It's well, just thick with memorabilia. All you need is a basket, and this place would be a gymnasium. Uh, Let's see, now, we don't have no uh, control over that. That's some hillbillies that live around here. I think he's got a revoke our license. I don't worry about a thing, babe. We ain't never had a license. Oh. <laughs> well, in that case, there's no problem. Let's just chow down. All right. Put one of those baseball gloves on a muffin for me, will you, son? You got it. You get something free. Indigestion. <laughs> Here's Glenn Campbell. It's knowing that your door is always open and your path is free to walk. But that makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch. Shackled by forgotten words and bonds And ink stains that have dried upon some life well, That keeps you on the back road By the rivers of my memory It keeps you ever gentle on my mind And it's not clinging to the rocks and ivy Planted all their columns now that bind me Or something that some Somebody said because they thought we'd been together walking. It's just knowing that the world will not be cursing or forgiving when I walk along some railroad track and find that you're moving on the back road by the rivers of my memory, and for hours you're just still on my mind. Mr. Mel Tillis. Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't, but I want you so. Oh, how can it be wrong if it feels so right in the middle of the night? Maybe I'm playing the fool again. After jumping out, I'm jumping right back in. How can it be wrong? If you so right in the middle of the night Oh, well, my head keeps telling me you want to leave the girl alone But my heart won't let it be I want to take you home 
See, every time I'd get close to the microphone, the star would say, back up, back up. <laughs> oh, Mitzi, what'd you call, uh, would you call Doc Campbell for me? Oh, what happened, Bill? Well, I ate a country ham sandwich at Lulu's Cafe and, and, <laughs> and her case. country ham sandwich at Lulu's Cafe. Now I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, but the ham couldn't make you sick. It was already cured. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're Red O'Donnell, Nashville premier show, business, columnist, Red, what's the most exciting scoop you've ever had? Well, actually, it was a double scoop, Roy. Mm -hmm. And as I recall, it was a fudge ripple and a rocky oh. road. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Grandpa Jones, you are Grandpa Jones, yes, sir. I'm, I'm so happy to, to have this moment alone with you. I, I'm here to claim my mind dying love. This is on the left side here for, for, for your daughter. You know, I, I tell you, let me count the ways. One, two, three, five, six. Wait a minute. Uh, what happened to four? I don't love her that way. But please, I beg you, give me her hand in marriage, her whole hand. Well, let me ask you this. If my daughter didn't have a cent to her name, would you still want to marry her? Sure, as grits are white. <laughs> then the deal is off. We've got enough crazy people in the family already. <laughs> Glenn, it must be awfully hard for a superstar like you to go out to public. Well, yes, it is. But you see, really, though, all you'd have to do is avoid the places that they're going to be a problem. Well, tell me, from your experience, What's the hardest place to avoid? I would say the front page of the National Enquirer. <laughs> doctor, doctor, yes, doctor! Yes, yes, what is it, oh, Nurse Goodbody? I think I've made a dreadful mistake. I don't doubt that. Well, did you tell me that Kenny Price has double pneumonia? Yes, I did. Well, I only billed him for one pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> As we look in on the Culhanes of Cornfield County this time, they're discussing the power of advertising. We listen as Cousin Lulu says. Advertising is so powerful it can make people like us disappear for minutes at a time. Balderdash. 
poppy cock. Tommy Rock. I'll prove it. All I have to do is say a few magic words and we'll be gone. What's the word? And now for a few words from our sponsors. Here's Steve Warner. <laughs> just terrible that you and that husband are your in fights all the time. You know, when you pawned me had us a scrap, we never went to bed till we'd made up. I heard about that. One time, you didn't go to bed for eight months. Now, Lord, what? don't you start on Mama. Remember, she knew your family pretty well. That's right. Yep. Your family was the only ones in the valley what took a bath once a month. That ain't true. We took a bath every day. We changed the water once a month. Well, what makes you think your family was so dang clean? Well, my youngins rinsed off and changed them clothes every day. Yeah, I know. Dottie changed with Ida Lee. Ida Lee changed with Patsy. Patsy changed with Jack. <laughs> The latest Cornfield County poll shows that only 50% of the married people are miserable. The man. Now we're not ones to go around spread rumors. Why, really, we're just not the gossipy kind. Oh, you'll never hear one of us repeating gossip. So you'd better be sure and listen close the first time.
tell you, girls, the truth is, uh, well, me and my wife, we can't, we can't stand uh, money. I can't stand out having it, and she can't, and she, and, and, and she can't stand out spending it. <laughs> A long-time member of the Grand Ole Opry and the father of bluegrass music, Mr. Bill Monroe. <laughs> It's time for the Hee Haw Honky Tonk. See, we're holding our class reunion here tonight. Class reunion? Yeah, yeah we both were expelled from the same class. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You know, Roy, old Laverne, boy, he really looks sad at night, don't he? I tell you, he has a right to, though. Yeah. His best friend just run off without his wife. <laughs> What? I feel like having a night of unbridled animal passion. Well, so do I. You do? Yeah. So let's split, and I'll see you in the morning. can we shot some, too? A cornfield county gonna pull you through. Hey, oh. USA. He haw salutes my hometown, Pahokee, Florida. Population. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the press, our guest today is from that all-rich country, Kuwait, Sheikh Fazul Abdullah. And our first question comes from KORN's own Charlie Ferguson. Uh, Sheikh Fatul, uh, 
How do you like it? correct you. Fazul. Fazul, not Patul. Fazul. Fazul. Yes, you come here in a crummy outfit. Why do you? And here I am in glorified cretons or whatever they are. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you, because I was going to wonder how you get to spend all that money, you mean. Well, money means nothing to me. It is the people around me in the sands of time when the great moons cross one another. And very many suns have approached our bodies. May we walk into there and to see gigantic eight by tens of Peter O'Toole. <laughs> to break the Vaseline in our eyes and to know we are not Omar Sharif. <laughs> These are my feelings. These are my feelings, regardless of how you felt that moment about my what was happening to my head. Is that what you do when you face Decker? Decker? <laughs> I'm with MCA. Thank you, uh, Sheik. Uh, Miss Thompson, do you have one uh, final question for the Sheik? Yes, I do. Uh, Sheik Abdullah, we Western, well, Southern Western women find women find it shocking that you have over 140 wives, even though you can afford it, surely. I could care less what you think. <laughs> 140 suit me perfectly. It's for every day in the bloody year. It is fun for every moon and every full sun and the stars when they gather across my jija no bodad yigaru jida bari ado jija beji. You have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> Filthy. <laughs> 140. If I could have one like you, I would trade them all, my darling. <laughs> the sheep. Out of the hour. You know, I was just looking forward to seeing that sheik in the worst way. And sure enough, that's the worst wave I've ever seen him. Gordy, everybody's telling me that you was half drunk this morning. I was. What happened? I must have run out of money. Here he is, Steve Warner.
millions on wheels. Not used cars, of course. He used to work in carnivals selling tickets for the Ferris wheel. Junior Sample. Hi, friend. Have I got a deal for you? And you'd better believe it. It's impossible for me to tell a lie. You just told one. That's the American way anything's possible. <laughs> What's this week's special? It's a 1980 Greyhound bus that's one of a kind. It's a convertible bus. Greyhound never made a convertible bus. No, but one of their drivers did. He drove it under a low bridge. Now, who wants to buy a bus with no top? How about a large family of giraffes? <laughs> There's a number to call, folks. <laughs> and if you <laughs> call collect, you're a giraffe. Huh? I had your name tattooed on my arm. Really? Could I see? Sure. Hey, that. <laughs> it's still sore. <laughs> my name's not Rose. Wrong arm. <laughs> G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L. Has to do with keeping warm. Like if you're gonna have a good fire, you gotta keep your grateful. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Buck Owens and the Buckaroos. Tonight in the bar alone I'm sitting apart from the laughter and the cheer. While scenes of the past rise before me I'm watching the bubbles in my beer A vision of someone who loves me Brings a long silent tear to my eye And I know that my life's been a failure Just watching the bubbles in my beer all right, Tommy. being a low-down, good-for-nothing range rat. Could I get a job on this show? Well, you'll have to audition first. You can do the next introduction. Well, how do I do that? Just read that big card over there next to the camera. I can't read. What's it say? Well, it says, Hee Haw will be right back after this. What's this mean? Well, I don't know. Go on and say it, and we'll find out. All right. <clears throat> we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Very good. Did I get the job? I don't know. First, let's find out what this is. <laughs> Loving nights we had without number. Now you're a slipping round, it's easy to tell. Like acting like an old punk cucumber. I heard Jim Campbell ring your doorbell. <laughs> Yeehaw salutes my hometown, the city of Orlando, Florida. Population 130,403. Knock, knock. Who's there? Don? 
Don who? Don't plan on sleeping tonight. And Don, you plan on making any money as a comedian either. I don't like to accuse any of you girls, but some of my customers are downright thieves. Well, I certainly hope you're not looking at me. I've a very idea. What's missing? Six towels in the last week, and I can identify every one of them. <laughs> yeah! Two are from the YWCA, and the others are from the Hilton. <laughs> Yeah, baby. You'll be very pleased to know that Billy Bob and I spent the entire night studying. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And how come I saw you sitting on his lap? Well, Billy Bob says that it helps him to study if I sit on his lap. Well, what was you studying? Anatomy. <laughs> oh, break that boy's leg. Let's see now, the leg. Is what? that the tibula or the fibula? <laughs> the fibula? Oh, no. Not his fibula, anything but his fibula. Not his fibula. No, Paul, please, not his fibula. Well, where's it at? I think it's on his leg. <laughs> Here's Bill Monroe.
Kings one weekend. The CMT Kings of Country Weekend. It's George Strait and Toby Keith on stage, on screen, and in charge. How you like me now, baby? The moments that made them superstars. We know how to throw a party down here in Texas, don't we? The CMT Kings of Country Weekend. All this weekend on CMT. cmt1country.com today and become a volunteer in your own community cmt1country the power of one 